great wine news, and I've got something really special for you today. It's a product review. I don't ordinarily do this, but I thought this was so cool. So here we've got the Coravin system, and it was invented by this gentleman right here, Greg Lambrecht. He's the inventor of Coravin. Now this is a a, um, a wine access system. A wine access. It's not a preserve system. That's right. The cork is a preservation system. Okay, so why don't you kind of tell us what it is and sure. how it works. So uh, this is a system that I invented to solve my own problem, which was to be able to have a great glass of wine without having to worry about the rest of the wine uh, in the bottle. I wanted a glass that was sold to me in a bottle. So uh, I found that I had to pull the cork, which exposed it to oxygen, and so it started the clock ticking, and that was the bottle I was going to be drinking. Uh, because it was going to oxidize. So I invented a system that allowed me to take wine out of the bottle without opening it. Right. Now, have you guys out there, have you ever noticed in a restaurant, you taste the wine and you know it's open the day before. I'm the biggest pain in the butt when it comes to restaurants because I you taste the difference. But with this system, you can open a wine, let's say, two weeks, three weeks, a few months earlier, and it's Preserved. My longest uh, test is actually about 10 years, where I've drawn glasses uh, 10 years ago, 7 years ago, we had a bottle last night that I'd done this to, uh, and it tasted as fresh as if it was a brand new open bottle. So my, that's, that so was my... So you accessed a bottle that you opened 10 months ago? 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Oh my goodness. I've been working on this for 15 years. So, uh, so why don't you demonstrate on how it works? Absolutely. So uh, this is a bottle of white burgundy that I happen to like a great deal. Uh, this is the Corbin system. The way that it works is it attaches to the top of the bottle. Uh, I purge it of air. Air is the only thing that makes the wine uh, go bad. I actually use argon gas, which is an inert gas. I push a needle, thin needle through the cork. I take a glass. I tip the uh, back of the bottle up, inject gas into the bottle and wine comes out. Wow. And you can pour as much or as little wine as you want simply by pressing the button again. And when you're done, you tip the bottom of the bottle down, it vents the extra gas that's inside the bottle, pull the needle out of the cork. You can see that the cork is still intact. And it doesn't leak out and it doesn't pour. Now how many times can you access that same bottle? So I would normally access a bottle three or four times, get down to a glass, uh, and then open the bottle to drink the last glass. But um, uh, we have a wine store in California that's been using it to allow their customers to try before they buy. And uh, she pours one or one and a half ounce pours, and she's been accessing the bottles 15 times. And now you have a restaurant in New York that is actually using this system for some by the glass, very special by the glass pours. My dream when I invented this was to open up the great cellars in the world. One of them was my small cellar, then it moved into restaurants. I think if restaurants could offer every wine they got by the bottle by the glass, that would be my dream. So we started here in New York at Del Posto, a Jovastianich uh, restaurant. Uh, he was great, took a lot of risk, and offered 30, I think it's up to 50 uh, bottles of wine by the glass. Uh, really spectacular wines that they would never have otherwise offered by the glass because they'd be worried about the rest of it going back. Wow. Now, okay, so being a master of wine, I'm highly skeptical of just about everything in the wine world. So I asked Greg to conduct a taste test for me. So he has four bottles here, two of which have been accessed back in April. And the other two are control wines, never been opened. Now, as we know with white burgundy, there's bottle variation with a lot of that, which kind of makes this a really good wine to work with. So, because it's neutrality, and you can tell with white burgundy, it's been opened previously very quickly. But we did this blind, and I gotta tell you, I, I had difficulty with identifying which one was accessed back in April. So, um, I actually identified a wine that was accessed in April, and a control wine. So that tells me that um, bottle variation, they can't do anything about bottle variation, so you might as well be able to use it because you couldn't tell it was opened back in April, you know, let alone maybe the day before or anything like that. So I think this is going to really help a whole lot of people. Now, how do you see everyday people using the Corvin system? So uh, we gave that to 40 different people before we launched, uh, and their houses turned into my houses, my house. And uh, what I do is I've got five or six different bottles of wine. Uh, and there's zero hesitation when I come home at night uh, to having a great glass of wine. Yeah. And uh, what it's done for me is it's removed that hesitation that you have from opening a bottle uh, just to drink a glass. Right. Uh, now you can pour however much you want from however many bottles you want. And so I, I would taste, I'll well, have a third of a glass of one bottle, a third of a glass of a different wine, a third of a glass of another wine. My wife will have uh, a different wine than I have. There's no longer an argument about which bottle do we open. Right. 
Uh, when friends come over, I take them over to my wine rack and I say, have whatever glass you want. Right. Uh, and you don't have to feel pressured about finishing the bottle because it's already, it's been accessed, but it's preserved. It increases your ability to explore the wines that you own. And it increases the number of experiences that you can have with a single bottle. Uh, I've shared one bottle of wine with 10, 12 different people that have traveled across the country. That's and that's what wine is for me. It's a, it's a marker of an experience and a time. I think this is going to be a, a great thing for all you drinkers out there, and particularly for collectors that want to access certain bottles to see how their wine is progressing year after year. Well, thank you so very much for, for doing you. this with us and conducting this test. And so this is great wine news. Thank you for watching.